Hey guys, Ivan here. So we are four weeks out of the Mr. Olympia. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of bodybuilders who, at least I, am very interested in seeing where are they actually going to place. And as you can see, the first guy we have to talk about is Nick Walker, who just posted this new, well, sort of a physique update, basically a leg update. And as you guys know, along with his midsection and like waist size, Legs are Nick's biggest, um, well, issue, biggest weakness. I wouldn't say legs overall, like he has very good hamstrings, crazy good hamstrings. A lot of thickness and usually good conditioning in the glutes, big calves with those varicose veins, but I don't think the judges really care about uh, the veins so much. Uh, as far as the quads, that is the weak area. And here we got a look at his legs, at his quads at four weeks out. So, do you guys see any improvements? I mean, it's just a mirror selfie, yeah, and this photo was taken at this angle in which uh, legs tend to seem uh, smaller compared to his upper body, but, like, it seems like his legs are looking kind of a little bit rounder. But he did train them as well before taking this, this selfie, so they're also pumped. And in all likeliness, his legs are probably going to be the same. I mean, he didn't have enough time between the New York Pro and the Mr. Olympia to truly make progress. And even though the guy is known for making progress extremely fast, probably faster than anybody, really, I don't know if that's going to happen with his legs. His legs, for some reason, don't really respond that much, or should I say that well. And that reason is probably because of his insertions in the legs. As you can see, like, his um, outer sweep, his lateralis is very high inserted, also his uh, vest medialis as well, the teardrop is not, like, super wide, it's not, like, high inserted, it's also very low and very small, so, like, genetically, structurally, his legs are not really meant to be big, and also, like, his legs are shorter to his upper body, that femur bone is very short, so I don't imagine Nick improving his legs to the point where they're gonna actually look impressive. I believe the biggest thing about Nick at a Mr. Olympia is uh, how well he picks. So if he is full, like he was here, for example, in 2022 Mr. Olympia, his legs may actually appear quite good. You know, here his legs weren't that visibly smaller compared to the rest of his body. Like, they were actually decent, you know, shorter, sure, not the best body part of his, but they actually looked, you know, proportionate. They looked fine. So if he comes in full and big and not too shredded, not too leaned out, his legs are gonna stay bigger and fuller than they would if he, like, dieted all the way down like crazy, like he did for that Arnold Classic one year. And also, you guys probably saw that he's doing uh, swimming for cardio now. So he's not really using his legs that much. Before, he was probably using, like, treadmill, or stairs, uh, bikes, and all those types of cardio are exhausting the legs, you know, depleting them from glycogen, and, you know, making him burn away some muscles, so if he's not doing that this year, that's definitely, I, th I think that's gonna be a great thing, I believe it's gonna save his legs, and the other thing is, once he's, like, super shredded, super dialed in, his waist shrinks. So he needs to be, this year especially, he had some troubles with his midsection of the New York Pro, so he needs to be really shredded, and not only because of his waist, but also because he needs to bring that freak factor to the stage, like, against these guys, if he wants to do something, he doesn't have the most static physique, he has a lot of muscle, and he can get super shredded, so he needs to bring those two things and try to save his legs up as much as possible, and what he's doing right now, I, I hope it's gonna work, I believe it's gonna work. Do I see that his legs are holding up better at this time in the prep? I mean, they're looking fine, I guess, they're not looking downsized, but we'll see, I mean, how well will they hold in the next, in the final four weeks? That's when it matters. But, you know, he has a strategy, he's not doing any kind of cardio that is uh, gonna hurt his legs, he's doing swimming, and uh, also, like, he, I hope he's gonna bring crazy conditioning and also uh, carb up and, like, come in full. So, once again, if he peaks really well, I don't know, anything is possible with Nick Walker. Alright, next up, we got our former Mr. Olympia and another bodybuilder who I'm also very curious about to see where he's gonna land. Uh, is he gonna win this year, play second again? or, I don't know, be third, or, like, out of top three, I mean, anything is possible, you never know when these bodybuilders are gonna fail, right, or bring their best, anything is possible, really, but, like, at this point, from what I'm seeing from Hadi, I mean, look at him, look at what he's doing, like, he's very strong at this point, so 
He's probably gonna be massive. He looks massive as well. However, conditioning-wise, I mean, I can't really tell from this one video. He's also doing some posing at the end. But I don't think he's like in the level of conditioning like some other bodybuilders who are prepping for the Mr. Olympia right now. Does he need to be leaner than this at four weeks out? No, no, I don't think so. It's just last year when he was prepping for that Arnold Classic where he brought his absolute best, I think he was in better conditioning at this point, this far out of a show. He was ready early, he was already like 4-5 weeks out, he was already basically in that condition that he brought to the stage almost, that he just peaked, like maintained the conditioning, did whatever it took to, you know, look uh, the best possible, to like maybe recover, to bring to, to work on fullness, stuff like that, but conditioning wise, it didn't seem like he was pushing it until the very end. This year, it seems like that's gonna be the case, and also, I'm kind of worried because... I, don't, I, don't, I haven't really seen Hadi bring the same level of conditioning to the Mr. Olympia that he was bringing to other shows, like Arnold Classic or Vancouver Pro. Uh, at the Mr. Olympia last year, the year before, he wasn't at his like best condition. He wasn't super, super peeled. And I don't know if that was the game plan that him and his coach, Han Rambut, came up with. They wanted to bring him as big as possible to the Mr. Olympia because, I don't know, the judges at the Mr. Olympia are looking for size more so than for conditioning. Maybe that's the plan this year, to bring him as big as possible, not to get him as conditioned as they did for the Arnold Classic. And I believe that will be a mistake. I think Hardy needs to be as conditioned as he was at the Arnold Classic if he wants to win the Mr. Olympia. But maybe that's not the plan, maybe the plan is to bring him as shredded as possible and like this video is not really doing him justice and all the physique updates so far, but like I don't think so, I think he is a little bit late this year or he's planning on coming as big as possible but not super diced. And then I'm looking at Derek and take a look at this guy right here, <laughs> take a look at this freaking back, I mean how monstrous this looks, this is just out of this world, this back is getting crazier every day, I mean, I don't know, and conditioning, it's looking great, actually, he's very, very lean for four weeks out, and he's gonna get leaner, I don't know what's the case from the front, like his quads, and like his front shoulders and chest, I don't know how lean will that be, but from the back, he's going to be peeled, so if Hadi wants to beat him, and if what they say is true, shows are one from the back, he needs to be peeled as hell, from the back to show the details that Derek is definitely going to display. So Derek right now is looking absolutely nuts. I'm pretty sure he is going to be shredded, peeled. I mean, I don't know how well will he place. As I said, he also has, there's also a possibility of him placing, you know, as high as winning again or as low as like third or maybe even fourth. I mean, some people are even putting him in fifth. I don't think that's gonna happen. There is no reason for the Mr. Olympia to place fifth. But, like, third, that's very possible. These guys are all very, very close. It's not like we have a dominant Mr. Olympia champion, like, back in the day with, like, Ronnie or Dorian. It's not like that. All these guys in, like, top five are very close, especially top three. And anything can happen, really. And finally, we got a new physique update from Akim Williams, the current one at four weeks out of Mr. Olympia. And it seems like nobody is really including Akim Williams in their, like, top ten Mr. Olympia conversation. And this guy, I mean, he is extremely good, like, from the front and from the side. His back is very weak, but, like, that's two shots, and it's not really that horrible. Like, his lower body from behind is, is good. Back is very shallow, but, like, the front and the side and, you know, the condition that he is bringing basically consistently for the past couple of years, what he brought to the Arnold Classic, guys, that was extraordinary, honestly. In case you forgot it, let me refresh your memory, so this is basically what he brought, he was dry, he was shredded, with those freaking bicep peaks, and like, with those freaking legs as well, crazy density, crazy fullness, crazy detail, super, super deep cuts, uh, like, the waist also looks small, from the side, you know, crazy details in the lower body, a lot of details, crazy hardness, like, in the arms and shoulders, and chest is also insane, he has so many great body parts, a lot of size, and can get in really good condition, and uh, I mean, I don't see why this guy wouldn't crack the top 10, I mean, yeah, it's difficult, but it's not impossible, it's very possible, do not count him out, and whatever you guys think about Nick, Hadi, Derek, or Akim, tell me down below in the comment section, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you guys want to support me a little bit, you can buy some hostile supplements, and use the code EVEN10 for a 10% discount, 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.